<laughs> I was trying to allude to a pregnancy to get more subscribers, but thanks for saying snippy snippy. <laughs> What's up, guys? It's Clueless Mama D. And it's Kenny D. We are coming at you guys with an interracial couple collab because he's black and I'm white. Sup? <laughs> Sup? What are you saying? <laughs> are you trying to be black with the sup? With all the crazy hate going around that you see in the news, I thought, why not organize a collaboration about interracial love? Like, perfect time to celebrate it. And so I invited some other really cool channels that have different relationships from different backgrounds around the world. And there's gonna be a playlist in the description for you guys to check out. So make sure you check that out after the video. After, okay? <laughs> she okay. just dragged me into this, told me about this last night saying, be prepared for a video making today. So. And I made us match because last time we did a video the meet my, or how I met my husband, tag video, so make sure you check that out. But anyways, I was like, we matched by mistake there, so we should just match. So we're matching for you guys, for the lovelies. All okay, right. but it's really hot and there's lots of light, so if we sweat, then sorry guys. Sorry, not sorry. The first question is, what are our backgrounds? You wanna start? It's like kind of hard to answer, but basically I'm Canadian, first of all, first and foremost. Uh, I'm quite a few generations Canadian. There's native on both sides of my family that's been in Canada like for as long as we can tell. That's also Mohawk from the States and Mi'kmaq. And then the black side of my family is a little bit harder to know. We lost some of that when we came over in the Underground Railroad. But anyways, I have another vlog coming up where I'll talk more about that and the history of that. So if you're interested in that, make sure you subscribe and hit the bell so you get notified. But basically we have kind of um, just speculated that maybe the black comes from Sierra Leone, but I'm going to do a test how accurate that is. Uh, obviously Canadian, but Irish. I know my uh, grandfather from my father's side. Uh, he immigrated here from Ireland. I also know that from my mother's side, they're from Belgium. So Belgium, wow. Irish, you know. My dad, I, I'm not entirely sure, but he says that his mother is actually uh, either part Syrian or something like that, I don't know. Where were you born and where did you grow up? Vancouver to Surrey to <laughs> Coquitlam, so come on, I don't know. I was born in Alberta and then I moved to BC when I was eight and that's where I've been brought up. Oh, that's our interracial baby in the background. Move your head. Yeah, Can you guys see you him? Can they see him? He's saying apple and he's eating snacks. What is our relationship status? I think we might have already said that. Married. Oh yeah. Okay, I'm like, what are we doing here? Yes. Show the ring. We're married. Ba -ba 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 -ba. What was your first impression of each other? If you guys want to know more about those kinds of things, the other tag that we did definitely goes into depth, so we're just going to shortly, just quickly answer. Hey, you're a beautiful woman. I thought she was a great woman. Beautiful woman, great smile, great personality. Um, she'd love to talk. Maybe not as much as me, but she loves to talk. Oh, he and loves to talk. I do. Don't let him fool you. I, yeah, exactly. No, she's good though. She can sell ice to an Eskimo, right? What? Uh, it's straight up. She can sell, so she sold herself to me. Ain't nobody got time to be like, put <laughs> no. on a front to sell myself, okay? Oh. So, my first impression of you was... What's the first thing you said to me? You were so handsome. I'm trying to think. I remember, oh maybe you I did. You did say yeah. that. I probably did. Yeah, obviously I thought you were handsome or else there would be like no second date really. Exactly. But I thought you you were good conversation. Like the conversation just kept flowing and I wanted to get to know you more. So yeah, handsome and interesting. How long have we been together? Going on five years now? Yeah, five years. Did you think you would ever marry yeah. or date outside of your race? Yeah. You did? Yep. Okay, and I would say yes too because where we live, like there's actually not a lot of black people, plus I'm also mixed myself. So I'm around a lot more like white people or even other races, so yeah. 
Yeah, it's it's we have a lot of different uh, ethnicities here in uh, yeah. British Columbia. I, I, you know what? I thought for sure I'd be probably with somebody that was ethnic because I. You Wasn't know, your first girlfriend black? Well, I don't know about my first, but yeah. One of them. I've had a few black girlfriends in the past, you know. Look how he gets like. I had the Asian me. persuasion, I had the white girl. Yeah, I had was, every... No one's asking about all of them. I'm just saying. I'm, I've had a little I, girlfriends. I've had a few. Do I have to insert the clip from the other tag right no. now? I think so. Like the other 99 dates I went on. Like the other 99 dates I went on. <laughs> What languages do we speak and understand? One, two, three. English, English and bad English. <laughs> English, bad English. Um, my daughter, I'll insert a picture here. She is, obviously she speaks English, but she's also fluent in Spanish and in French. Because here where we live in Canada, French is the second language. You can learn that in school too. So she's in like a full French school. But we speak English and I actually can understand Spanish. I know a little bit of like Do you know nine yes, different languages. I know a little bit of like, you, you name a language and I could probably say hello or something in it. Name a language? Um, Tagalog. <laughs> Como esta? It's almost like is it's it? almost like is Spanish. It? It is. Oh, I think it's right. Like, comment below if that is it how is. you say hello in Tagalog. Or if you, or if you speak it to an adult or like an elderly person, I think it is como esta. I think como esta. Because they speak a lot of Spanish in that. All language. right, what you want? I'm sure what there is. I'm sure there is going to be some people in this collab who speak Tagalog, so they can comment. Is it difficult dating someone who speaks another language? So we'll just skip that because we speak skip. the same language. How do we? Well, no, not necessarily. I told you I speak I bad. Am I speak here. I'm bad sweating. English, but you, you, you hold on, hold on, hold on. Stop I'm just you don't like when I said I speak English and bad English. I wasn't joking. I cuss like a trucker. You don't swear. That's the truth. Then what do you think about me swearing? It's a family channel. Don't go unsubscribing. He's not gonna be. <laughs> And what do you think about me smart? It's a family channel. Don't go unsubscribing. He's not gonna be <laughs> Don't cuss. That's what the edit. But I do swear like a trucker. And she got herself mixed into this mess. So I don't No, he hid the swears. Don't let him fool you. He <laughs> hid the swears when we first started dating. And he didn't release Yeah. He did not release <laughs> the swears till like months into our relationship. It was it was pretty good. I even and now, myself. So. Now he does the not quit. I yeah, no and filter. He needs a quit. I do. Lord give I him do. the strength to not curse from his tongue. Speaking of Lord, next question is how do we identify religiously? Christians. We're Christians. Christians. Absolutely. Followers yeah. of Christ. Followers of Christ. Jesus is my homeboy. He's my father. He's my everything. Has your religious upbringing affected your relationship and why? Well, I've never had a religious upbringing. I was kind of a born again Christian in my 20s, so I can pretty much say no to that. Well, I think when the question's asking like, has it affected our relationship? I would have to say yes. Any kind of major philosophy that you were raised with. So I was raised most of the, the time that I can remember as being a Christian. So that obviously plays into who I am as a person, the morals that I have and, and the things that I want to engage in and not. And then that affects how you are with your partner. And I think that since you were not brought up Christian, then I think that would probably play some difference about, I don't know. Mm. I think everything that go, you go through as a child kind of affects you in your relationship as an adult. But anyways. How did your family feel about your choice and partner? Really want me to answer that? Yeah, I do because I know what they said to me. I, said, I know what they said to you too. <laughs> I know what they said to me too. Okay, well what is that? No, to my family was like, they don't care, man. My family's all good. You know my family. Right, they were all happy. You marry who you want to marry. You do what you got to do, right? Yeah. Person makes you happy. That's it. That bottom line, and that's what it's about. Again, I think because of where we live, it's not really like a huge thing to be in an interracial couple. And so, like for my family, like race doesn't even it doesn't even come up. Like no one said anything about him being white when I started dating him or whatnot. Um, 
But I should insert that people were really like thankful when I started dating Kenny because they were like, oh, you are so good for him. That is true. My, my <laughs> friends did say that to her. You know, nothing to do with the skin color, but you know, yeah. something like she's such a yeah, such a positive attitude, and oh. it was just definitely hoping that some of that would rub off on me. <laughs> like, so I, kind of I was a little damaged from some of the past relationships. I don't know. I think I'm, I might have brought a little bit of baggage, not a whole lot. We all have baggage. I'm sure we did. We all have baggage. Yeah, my father dated yeah, it's black. Yeah, funny. My okay. father dated a black woman, Jamaican woman, man. How did our race affect our upbringing? Well, I think there's, that that's a huge subject right I there. Know. You know, like race affecting my upbringing. Okay, we're gonna pause right now. Just keep talking. It's fine. All right. And how did my race affect my upbringing? I don't know. Is did it work positively against uh, for me or against me? I I don't know. I is, people say things like white privilege. Um, growing up, we I never thought of anything like that. I uh, work side by side with many people of different race, culture, uh, religious backgrounds. Um, so I don't think there was anything uh, of uh, privilege there. It was just you grew up being who you are and doing what you do. So. Did he just say white privilege? <laughs> yeah, well, Kenny doesn't no really to me think here. that it exists, but I, I kind of disagree with that. Like, I I'll give you a had, couple of. It, it used to exist. For a, definitely, it's, but I think no. the media spins it off to something a heck of a lot more than what it ought to be. So okay, well my take on that is it doesn't have to be like a huge thing to be white privilege. Like, and I think where we live, uh, there's less of it. But just an example of of how I think white privilege, and that's such like a horrible <laughs> word or whatever. But like when we were renting homes to share and we went on a vacation, there's gonna be vlogs on that, so make sure you hit the bell if you're interested on that. But you know Airbnb or whatever. So when we're renting homes, like my brother was in charge of that for us to stay in different homes together. So like all of my family was staying in one homes as we're renting as we're traveling. What we would do is we use our spouse's picture on Airbnb because we believe it will be better received than if we used our own picture. So exactly. that's just like an example, like a minute example. Like he used his wife, who's Latina, very fair skin, and I, when I asked questions, I used Ken's picture. So that's what I mean. And then I asked Ken one time, like I don't know if we're getting off topic, but I asked him one time, I said, okay, if you don't believe white privilege exists, like whatsoever, and then you were charged with a crime you did not commit, like a, a bad crime, let's say a murder, and you're on trial for murder and you did not commit, and you have the choice, like just some magical choice, to either be yourself, a white male, or yourself as a black male. Who would you choose? And you said you would choose the white male, right? So there's well, just like, I mean, you, you, know you said, you said yes. We all know that there trial. are, divisions in this world. Yeah. There had been, has been, and still is, right? Yeah. And everybody knows about it. Do we have kids and do we want kids? Yes, we have kids. Yeah. We've got a 12 year old and we have a 14 month old. Yes. Yeah, beautiful. Tasia Tasia. and Jarvis. Yes. And do we want any more kids? Oh, make sure you subscribe and hit the bell for what's about to go down. <laughs> I was trying to allude to a pregnancy to get more subscribers, but thanks for saying snippy snippy. I'm done, man. Anyway. After, after that scream, no way, I'm done. Do you worry that your kids will be bullied because of race? No. I, I think no more than anybody else here. Like, we've all been a product of racial insults and discrimination. Yeah, I've been through it. I've had other races say things negative towards me, and I'm sure he'll endure that as well. But, you know, uh, he's, we're gonna raise him to be strong, to, uh, to have it kind of float off his shoulder. It's, it's not yeah. a big deal. Well, you know? Tasha is 12, and she really hasn't experienced anything like that. Um, I did growing up quite, quite often, and I was just talking with my mom earlier, like, you just, I don't know, it just doesn't bother me. But like, 
Do I anticipate it happening? Absolutely. Someone's gonna say something stupid. Even if it's road rage, I get called a racial slur. So it can come up, but you have to prepare your kids for that and just let them know that people are stupid sometimes. Do people stare at us when we go on dates? I think so. I know what you think, so you've mentioned that. I, I don't have, really notice it, but I, I, think, people, to people, it. I think people are more curious. I, I don't think they're doing it in a negative way. I think people are kind of like, hey, look, there's the black guy with a, or a white black guy. <laughs> white guy with a black woman, or there's a black woman with a white guy. What is the most challenging thing about dating outside of your race? Or another race? I really don't know. I, I just because, think. Oh, I know. Listening to country music sometimes? Like, that's pretty hard. Yeah, but I don't listen to country music. You do! What do you call that music then? That you put on and you made us listen to? It's like some bluegrass, kind of, maybe some southern kind of music. No, oh, it was I. Yeah, see, I don't listen to country music. Anyways, this is my answer to the question. She's crazy. When he She's puts on making country it up music. as she goes along. I am not along. making it up. It's really bad. It's that dang rap music I gotta hear all that dang time. <laughs> that hibbity hoppity. What is the best thing about dating outside of your race? Uh, you know, what's the best thing? About dating outside of race? <laughs> no, man, I don't know. Beautiful babies. That's Beautiful true. Beautiful babies. Good answer. What is one piece of advice that you would give to someone entering an interracial relationship? Run. <laughs> run, boys, run. run. Um, don't play country music, even if your wife thinks. It's country music, I don't know. Just go out and have fun. Enjoy what you have. Remember, it's not about color, it's not about race, it's about what's inside your heart, so. That's good advice. And if you're dating like someone like myself with beautiful, like natural hair, then you're going to have to accept the fact that that hair is going to end up everywhere. And it's gonna clog drains and that's just okay. That was it. This is our interracial <laughs> love couples tag. If you guys good. like this and you wanna see more videos like this, go ahead and let us know in the comments. And if you are in an interracial relationship, that's really hard, interracial relationship, comment below and let us know. Yes. And, blah, 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 blah. oh my gosh, see what I have to deal with? And it's not because of his race, it's because. And make sure you subscribe and hit the bell because there's lots of fun stuff coming up. And check out our husband page. But most importantly, there's going to be super awesome couples in this collaboration. Check out the playlist below, watch it, and feel the interracial love. Absolutely. Say Jarvis, Jarvis, say bye or apple. Which one? You can't say bye yet. Say bye to the lovelies. Say bye, lovelies. <laughs> Bye, guys.